Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. Tony is a world renowned psychic medium. She has had the gift of being a psychic medium and channel her entire life. Tony hosts two TV shows Create a Life You Love and Psychic Medium Tony G. She is also the author of five books. Being a healer and a hypnotist as well, it is her purpose and her passion to help you in every way she can. Phone lines are open now. Call in 858-365-5593 and let Tony answer your questions about life love, finances, or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. I am Tony Green and I am here to help you in any way I possibly can. So, I first want to let you know I'm here every Monday at noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, for 30 minutes. And then the second Tuesday of the month, I also do a TV show, Psychic Medium, Tony G. And on that TV show for WSCS, I um, integrate or incorporate Blog Talk Radio and take callers. So uh, you can follow me on whichever venue you are listening to me, whether it be Spreaker, Stitcher, iHeart, iTunes, or Blog Talk, and you'll be informed or notified every single time a show comes up or it's time for a show. During the show, I like to take as many callers as possible. So when you get on the line, please have a question or a connection uh, that you would like to ask. And I just, I want to add today that um, when I answer a question, now we create our world. We do. And there are a lot of things in this life that we want. And some of them you know, we want them now, but five years down the line, we might realize that's not what I really, I'm, I'm so happy I didn't get what I wanted. But we don't know that, that, like, everybody has an ex that they can say, oh, my God. Well, most people have an ex that they can say, I'm so happy that didn't work out. What was I thinking? Um, and everything has a timeline. And a lot of times people are very, very, they they want it and they want it now. And they don't have the understanding or the patience. There's there's a sense of entitlement to, um, like, kind of this is owed to me. I should have this instead of the understanding that there's a bigger plan and divinity at work. And for whatever reason, this might not be coming to fruition right now. We have to have patience and understanding. And if it doesn't come to fruition, that we just have to have the knowing that maybe the timeline changed, maybe the circumstances changed, maybe it's not meant to be. Dynamics are very, very um, important in a reading. In one moment, your dynamics could be perfect for something, but when there's more than one person involved in any situation, the dynamics can change, and you may not even know why those dynamics changed, why things aren't coming, because everybody has free will and choice. So having said that, please know that when I give answers, they're based on the dynamics that exist right now. You have the right to change your mind or choose differently down the line. It's not set in stone. We have free will. We have choice. 
and we have the ability to change our future. Also, the information coming comes from angels and guides. When I am talking with you, the, those angels and guides are your angels and guides bringing in information that's relevant for you at this time. And I just have to share, I know this is a little off topic, but there's this beautiful red, I mean so beautiful of a red cardinal um, right outside my window that keeps flying around from the from the branches to the, the grass, to the branches. So if that's your sign or symbol for a loved one on the other side, there it is. And um, I never see red birds. I never see red, once in a great, great while. So that's quite a gift. That's quite a gift. Okay, back to what I was saying. That's my conversational ADD kicking in. Okay. <laughs> now, it's important for you to understand you do create your world. You do create your life. When you really want something, it starts to, the universe starts to put everything into play. And if it's meant for you, it will come to you. Having said all of that, I want to go back to where I started with, we've all had a relationship that we thought, this is what we want. This is the person. This is it. And then maybe it wasn't. And later on, we figured out why. And we were very happy with that. Sometimes we think we want something, and we don't know all the information or details. Everything is always happening for us, not to us. And it's happening for our our highest purpose, and we've agreed to all of this before we came in. And acceptance can sometimes be the most difficult thing, but we must have it. Okay. I'm going to go to the first caller, who is 860. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Good. How are you, Tony? It's Amla. Hey, Amla. How are you? Good. Uh, Good. We already covered that. (laughs) So how can I help you today, Amla? Um, Yeah. It's um, so... I, I'm so close. My first book is like coming out in three weeks. So, yay! Okay, for what's that. the title? So yes, it's what's E Y E I I comma with a view. E Y E comma with a view. Yep. That's okay, it. excellent. So, so okay. Yeah. So, congratulations. That's wonderful. Now, how? And how uh, what? I can't wait. Mm-hmm. I just, I am just wondering if it's all going to come in together. I, like, I put my heart and soul into this book and, and like so many authors do. And I just was wondering, it's always that same question I know, but I wanted to find my true partnership. And I was just wondering if you feel no, or sense somebody coming I thought you were calling in. about the book because that's what I you were know, asking if it was I'm all going to come together. Let's stick with the book today. We're going to talk about the book today, okay? The okay. partner thing, okay. that's another day, okay? Okay. I'm okay. going to tell you everything is going to come together very well with this book. There's going to be one little snag. It's, it's very small. It's like a little hiccup, okay? Okay. It's not an ongoing hiccup. It's one little hiccup, something you're going to have to – I don't know if it's repair. I don't. I don't know if it's repair or something you're going to have to tweak. But there's there's just one little thing that will need a quick fix, and then this is going to take off, be beautiful, be in a very okay. good place. Now, okay. I'm not going to answer any questions about a partner for you today. Yeah. What I'm yeah. going to do instead is for you and everybody listening. Yes. I'm going to ask the question, there's something stopping or, oh, okay, I'm going to go one step. I was going to say there's something stopping or blocking you from a healthy, happy, loving relationship. I definitely get a yes, but then I'm going to switch that. I'm not going to clear that because what it is is insecurities. Okay. So as I went to ask that, they said insecurity, insecurity, 
so that you have insecurities. And when we have insecurities, boy, they really show up in a relationship like nobody's business. And they like, yeah. like almost like a boxing match. They're like popping us in the nose every five seconds to show us you need to heal this. You need to heal this. So for you and everybody else that listens or re-listens to this, and I strongly recommend when it comes to insecurities, uh, there are layers of this for different areas of our life. I recommend you listen, re-listen, and re-listen again. So I'm going to say uh, there are insecurities. I absolutely get a yes. Mm-hmm. We start in, uh, we start uh, releasing, clearing, letting this go, and healing all that content. I can barely breathe right now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, So everybody, listen, when – when we're clearing, it can feel different for each and every person. It can feel like, you know, you're having a, a moment to catch your breath. It can feel like uh, you can feel pressure. You can feel energy moving in your body. You, you might feel nothing. That doesn't mean it's not working. That just means everybody feels different, feels energy differently. Right. So, um we're going to clear some of these insecurities. I want you to listen, re-listen, and then listen again um, at <laughs> least once a day to at least this part of it. Okay, sweet girl? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Congratulations on the book again. I know it's going to be, you know, it's going to be exactly what it's supposed to be for who it's supposed to be for. Okay. <laughs> Tony, can I just ask you, with the, with the snag thing, when do you feel like, like it, that's happening? Do you have a sense as to when? Is this before the book launch or is, I mean, is this yes. part of the it's writing? It's before the, the launch. Listen, it's before the launch and it's just going to take a second to, to co- correct. And I'm not oh, sure what okay. it is. I'm really not sure what it is, but it's just sure. going to take a second to correct. But it, it's good. It's good. It's quick and easy. But just know that there might be something. Don't overreact to it. Just be like, okay, no problem, and move on, okay? Okay, sounds great. Thank you so much. I will definitely be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. You too. You too. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 202. Hello, 202. How are you today? Hi, Tony. Thanks for taking my call. I'm well. How are you? Absolutely my pleasure. I'm doing well. How can I help you today? Um, I just wanted to see what you pick up on a friend that I have named Michael. I'd like to see... Um, what he feels about me and um, where things are going or if if the friendship will evolve into more. Yeah. Okay. It will be difficult for it to evolve into more. That's the first uh, statement that I get. Um, It would take time and patience on your part. It could evolve into more, but it would take time and patience, and it might be a little bit. The word they're choosing to use is trying. It would, like, try your patience. Um, he's, he's Either he's complicated or he's in a complicated situation. There might be something about him you're not aware of yet that would make this even more complicated. Um, okay. <laughs> he might have. Oh, I am just cracking up about this one. Even though we can know someone and think we know everything about them, we may not know their fetishes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> and can Nothing I just leave it at that, or would you like me to really elaborate? I want to know. That? I don't know. I want some elaboration. I want so, some elaboration. <laughs> I cannot and will not. I'm not going to 
tell you exactly what his fetish is because I could be wrong. But, you know, fetishes go depending on what country of origin you are in. Some of them are very, mm-hmm. very what we would consider disgusting, like in in Asian countries. I don't even know. They use a lot of seafood in their fetishes, which is crazy to me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and here's here's what I'm going to tell you about this. In the past, I have known a lot of very powerful guys that like to bring out a very feminine side. I'm not saying mm. that this. I've also known a lot of very powerful guys that in private like to be submissive or mm-hmm. like a girl who is extremely submissive. Now, there, for some people, there might be nothing wrong with a little spanking and rope around mm-hmm. the wrists. Other people are like, mm-hmm. hell to the no, that's not happening. <laughs> we're all adults. Well, most of us are. I think we're all adults here. What I'm going to say <laughs> is <laughs> whether it is like uh, I – and then there are other fetishes that include body fluids. I'm just going to say mm-hmm. whatever this is, you don't know. I about think I've it. seen. Mm-hmm. And it might be he might, you know, think it's kind of a deal breaker. He doesn't obviously talk about this, um, but it would be mm-hmm. very a, a very very complicated situation. Now again, I'm not <laughs> saying this is his fetish, but I don't want a guy that looks prettier in my dresses than I do. I'm just I saying. You. <laughs> but I'm not mm-hmm. saying that's it. What I'm saying is there's there's something about him you're not aware of. It would take a lot of patience and understanding. Um, and now all the fetishes are coming out. There are guys that like to be, like, wear a diaper and be held like they're mm-hmm. a baby. I'm not saying it's any of these, but whatever it is, <laughs> and people mm-hmm. who are calling in are going, what the heck? <laughs> unaware of that would make this a very complicated situation. Is that helpful? I hope that I hope this was both entertaining and helpful. <laughs> it was. Um do you pick up on how he feels about me? I mean um what I can tell you is uh, he does like you. Mhm. He's he's not sure how far he would want to go with this because he considers you to be a bit of a, like a straight lace. Um, he he doesn't. I think that he doesn't think about you in um, a kinky way. Is the best way I can put that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he really does have a a bit. And when I say dark, it doesn't mean it's negative, but he does have a bit of a dark secret side to him that he yeah. he won't share with a friend, but he'll he'll share with a professional. And that yeah. doesn't mean a hooker. That means mm-hmm. something completely different that that I I'm I'm not uh it it, it means what it means, okay? So I hope this is helpful. <laughs> okay. And okay. thank you for making me smile today. I really, <laughs> thank really you for like making that. me smile. I love when I have this sort of thing come in. <laughs> All right. Thank there you. There is no judgment in this because it is what it is, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It is what it is. That's all it is. So, sweetie, thank you so much for calling in. I look forward to talking with you again in the future. Um, (laughs) And I want you to pay attention to who else might pop in in September, especially around the 18th. You might be pleasantly surprised 
at who pops in around in September, keep the whole month open, and mm-hmm. especially around the 18th into the 19th. Those that seems to be an um, extra special time for you. And I, I would like an update on that. Like if, if you do meet somebody in September, which you will, as long as you're out and about, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Um, and, you, uh, and you're open to uh, it, I think you might be pleasantly surprised at who you meet. Okay? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okie dokie. We are in a second. We're going to go to the next caller who is um, 303. Hello, 303. How are you today? I'm okay. Um, I have an other side question. If you, do you need a name or just what the relationship was? I need the first name and the relationship to you. Mm, there's a couple different people. I can't decide if I want to go with the male or the female. There's a couple uh, well, different I, ones. See, I, I just just give me one for today. If you uh, want to try again later, we can connect with another one. But for just to keep it fair for everybody, just one connection today. My um, dad Scott. I'm sorry. My father, his name is Scott. Scott, okay. Um, So with your, I'm hoping this is your father. Instantly, I see a guy, a man stepping in. He was a little bit heavier set. Is this your father or your grandfather? Well, they both were very big Germans. I don't really call that heavy. They are definitely, you know, Okay, let me just do it another they're, they're way. Not, they're, they're, it's not as skinny. They're not skinny, you know, French people. <laughs> no, these. Yeah, this guy is like very solid. Had a bit of a, yeah. a little bit of a belly on him. Yeah. Okay. Well, so awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna say okay. So the first thing I do is I come. I'm gonna confirm. Give me just a second here. Okay, he's here, and what? Um, I I always like to ask, do you have a specific question or something specifically that you want to know from him or ask him? Yeah. Okay, what is that? How to how to um his how do I put this? I know it's um it's a complicated situation so I'm trying to condense it to a very simple present time kind of question. But he what he advises me to do under the circumstances with my son at this time. Okay, so you want you want him to tell you just so I understand, you want to know uh how to move forward with your son at this point. What to do with with your son at this yeah, point. Yeah, and the situation regarding him. Yes. Regarding him. Okay. Yes. Not with him, but regarding him. Give me a second here. So, okay, it's going to take me a little bit of a second um, to get uh, into this energy because now I'm connecting with the energy of your son also and uh, assessing, like they're they're assessing it, so they're, they're all communicating. And then in a second, the information will start to come through me. I'm going to tell you that the best thing you can do, and I've been hearing this, um, and and I don't know if this is going to make sense, but I, I hope it does. You have to let go, and you have to use your power of prayer. You have no control over this situation. There's not a lot you can do. Your hands are tied, and you need to just acknowledge um, first that you might not have as many options as you think you do, and that you your best i don't want to use the word play or the the, the the what you can the only thing you can do is and i keep hearing the statement let go and let god let go and let god use your power of prayer you personally have no power in this situation does this make sense to you um that, wait does this make yeah, sense yeah. 
for the situation? Um, in part, yes. Yes. Okay. That's the part they need you to focus on and listen to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They know that that you want to change the circumstances or the outcome, but sometimes we need to allow things to fall into place and just just trust that you need to trust. I know this is very difficult. You need to trust that um, everything will work itself out and that you're not the one, you're not the puppeteer. You can't, you can't, mm-hmm. you, you, the only way that, that that's the most perfect statement they could make, you're not the puppeteer. Mm-hmm. Does it, I hope, I so, so hope that this helps. Now, the other thing that um, he is uh, stating is mm-hmm. that in time, you'll see why this has to be this way at this time. But right Mm -hmm. now, don't be the fall guy. And that is not what I thought I was going to say. So I hope that makes sense. I really hope it makes sense. You can't, um, in a way, one of the things I'm hearing, and and I really, you know, I don't know the circumstances and I don't know the situation, and I'm really happy I don't because I, I don't want you to think I'm, giving you answers based on information that you gave me. But what I'm hearing right now is you can't stop what's coming. You can try, but it it will be fruitless. You cannot stop what's coming. Mm-hmm. So I hope I really, and as a parent, that's so difficult to hear. And they're saying use your power of prayer. You have mm-hmm. to let go of certain aspects of this. Um, and remember, ultimately, everything is, is everything is, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to ask them to switch and to, uh, let you know that they, they love you so very much. They are handling this situation. Angels, guides, loved ones on the other side are trying to handle this situation. You don't have uh, to have all of the emotion about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're going to take care of it. They're going to do their best they can to do the best they can to to do, do this. I hope this makes sense to you and is helpful to you. Mm-hmm. Did you say what? Did you say uh, a moment ago? Don't be the fall guy. I didn't quite catch that. Is that is that what they what was yeah, said? Yeah, that was a statement okay. that they made. Don't be the fall guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. Does sure that make that sense for the situation? Uh, yeah. It, there's parts of that. Yeah, it's complicated, but there's there's it's kind there's of there's truth in that, of, right? Yeah, there's truth in yeah. that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, don't be the fall guy. Don't, mm-hmm. don't, whatever you do, back off. Like they're just saying, back off and watch everything happen, and you'll get the greatest understanding for this. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so here's, here's a way that I often say it. When there's a tornado and you're in the eye of the tornado, you have no idea where it's whirling and all the destruction that's happening because of it. Jump out of the tornado, jump out of the eye, stand away from the tornado, and you are going to get the clearest, best uh, insight and understanding of this situation. And also, if you, if this were a friend that mm-hmm. was going through this, you know exactly what you would tell your friend to do, and don't you dare mm-hmm. falter on that. You follow your own mm-hmm. advice if it was somebody else. Okay, love? Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I, 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 I think about that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. You're so welcome, and, and I'll I'll mm-hmm. pray for the best outcome for this. Okay, sweetie? All right. Thank you. You are so, mm-hmm. so welcome. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, everybody, this is Tony Green with Messages from Above. I am here every Monday. If you did not get through today, I want to apologize and say thank you again for calling in. I'll be back next Monday. Please try again then.